Good morning, buddy. Oh, okay. Mm-mm. Nope. Everybody, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I am going to be losing my eyelashes. Let me just take that off. Oh, oh. Let me just. Okay. Ah! Oh! Oh! Ah! Ow! Ah! In today's video, the food that I eat has to be cooked on this. If you guys have a MacBook, a MacBook Pro, a MacBook Air, you will know how hot this thing can get. There have been times where I have fallen asleep while using my MacBook and I roll over and I physically jump. Okay, that's probably not. I physically hop out of bed. I'm so. I'm sorry! It is so hot and hurts so bad that I jump out of bed like, you know when you get a cramp in the middle of the night and you like get up and you like hobble around your house with like the ugliest look? That's what I'm going to be using to cook today because I have always wanted to see if it is possible to harness that energy into something good. I have my old MacBook Pro here. I also have a uh, security camera that's going to be filming for 24 hours that I made cut to for some footage. Like you can see right now on my computer, I have one of the worst shows on the history of the Netflix, which I am streaming in 4K because I want to make sure this charger has its work cut out for it. Because if it, if it has to sit here and not only charge a MacBook, but a MacBook that is watching Emily in Paris season two on repeat, oh, that, that would heat me up, I'll tell you that for sure. And not in a good way. Not in the way that, that she would. The charger is starting to heat up a little bit, but if I want it to be able to heat up this water so that I can have a coffee, I'm gonna have to turn up my brightness, maybe I mine some Bitcoin in the background. You know what, why don't we open up YouTube, let's get some other stuff going in the background to heat this MacBook charger up as much as we can. Let's get a, ja let's get a Jazz To Do video going over here. Oh, let me just, uh, gotta make sure to uh, skip the ad, can't be supporting your friends on uh, YouTube. Oh, let's get this, uh, JJ has a new video, KSI, let's get that going, make sure it's in HD, yes it is. And, oh, whoa, who is that deliciousness in that, th oh my gosh! Oh my god, look at that editing! Wow, that is high quality! If I was watching any of this guy's videos right now, I would like it. I would scroll down and hit the like button anytime that I'm watching one of his videos, whether it's right right now that you're watching this. I would also, oh, I'm gonna make sure to, maybe you know, I'm gonna click on that ad. You, you gotta support your friends on YouTube. You can't be supporting your friends on uh, YouTube. Then I would go down and I would comment saying uh, what I think the hottest things on the planet are. So guys, be sure to scroll down to that comment section and comment what you think the hottest things on earth are. Be creative, let me know, and uh, hit that comment button for this uh, video and just comment down below. I'm gonna change, maybe go do a little bit of cleaning and we'll check back in on the hot water for our coffee in a couple hours. Wait, well, I was just, I'm not, I don't like that show. <laughs> My life. I, I hate my life. My life is the worst. I hate everything about what just happened. Herc. Oh, look at this! Look at this! I was doing some cleaning. I, I have the Dyson, you know, the great Dyson, and I have all these- Fuck! I was working on setting up the second charger, heating that up a bit, because what I'm gonna do for food is I have this mini pan here that we're gonna cook an egg, and I just ruined my everything. I just ruined my whole everything. The whole everything? Yeah, that's goodbye. I reach forward with the Dyson. Great guys, by the way, this is a great It's a great product. Like I'm sad, but you know, it's an amazing thing. And I snagged the cable, the whole thing pulled off, and all of the water that was starting to warm up. Yeah, that's all over the floor now. There is still a little bit in there, so we didn't lose all of our progress. Gonna put that back up there. Let's get the water back on the heat. Lid and put that back on. You're probably thinking, oh, that, that sucked, Derek. But guess what? You probably got some awesome footage with your 24-hour camera. And that's the exact same thing that I thought right after that happened. And I walk over to the computer to look at the screen recording. And yeah, the recording. <laughs> As you guys saw before, this is what I currently have on, and here is the outfit I have planned. Herc, you might want to move over a little bit because we are now going to put this on. Okay, whoa, there is the, okay, there's my old clothes, and here are my new, my new clothes. I forgot to put underwear down there when I fell, so it uh, looks like we're going commando today, baby. <laughs> Who needs it? <laughs> Streaks on my new pants. That's what I, that's what I'm gonna get. So being that the coffee is taking longer than I expected because not only is the MacBook charger not producing enough heat right now, I the Dyson great product, but if I 
me. The Dyson f me. What we're gonna be doing with the second uh, MacBook charger that I have, we're gonna be doing this little blue diamond five inch um, pan. It is the smallest pan I could find. It is so cute and adorable. Five inches is the small. Uh, so in this case, they may call it, you know, the five, the five inch mini tin, but in any other sense, Five inches is actually really, really huge. So we're gonna be taking this pan right here and what we're gonna be doing is we are gonna be putting it on to my, uh, my new MacBook charger right here. What we're gonna be doing to heat that up is here I have my last video in Adobe Premiere Pro. You guys can see all the cuts and all of the edits right here. Very, like there's lots of stuff here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press Command A and that is going to select everything. Then I'm gonna hit the Command C for copy. We're gonna go right over here. We're gonna hit paste and then we're gonna hit paste again. Then we're gonna hit paste again and then we're gonna keep hitting paste for as long as we can okay, okay four hours and 57 minutes and then what we're gonna do oh my god <laughs> if emily in paris can heat up a charger this was gonna make it melt let's go over to export let's go high quality 4k oh my gosh and it's saving you see it says copy of a copy of a copy of a copy yeah that's because it's hoping premiere pro on a macbook <laughs> it likes to Crash! Adobe Premiere Pro on a MacBook crashes more than a uh, woman driving. Wow! Okay, Derek, let's hold up. That's stop. Think of a better one. Uh, Adobe Premiere Pro crashes more than. Okay, well, I went straight. I was about to go to racism. So, sexism and racism. How about we just. I'm just gonna turn off the camera and end this video. Bye! Let's hit export and then we're gonna come back to check on these whenever this is okay, almost finished. Okay, later on, um, as you guys can see, the uh, this MacBook Pro is just too insanely powerful like yeah it still says it's gonna take nine hours you cannot this is listen to this oh you heard nothing yeah because nothing's going on over there and our little pan is on here and this is like I, I think it's gotten colder since I started rendering what I have done over here okay this is the best chance we're gonna have to get some hot water out of this I remember the fans used to run really hot when I would upload a video like listen listen to this computer right now me talking anymore, probably not. What I did is I downloaded a bunch of old video files that I had and I started uploading them. And if you guys can relate to this message, uh, yeah, the disk space is almost full. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna try to see if the water, let me, let me feel this for one second. Let me feel. Okay, okay, it is definitely hot. All we need from this water is that it is warm enough to melt this little bit of instant coffee I have down here and I'm gonna make an iced coffee. Okay, let's see right here if the water that has been sitting on the MacBook charger can melt our instant coffee. Here we go, let's pour that in there. Okay, okay, no steam coming off so far, and if I'm gonna be 100% honest, um, oh wait, is it? Oh, it might be warm, oh my gosh, okay, okay. It might just be warm enough. The water, it, oh, come on, baby. And guys, I have accidentally put cold water into this instant coffee before. It does not melt if the water is cold. Oh my gosh, come on. I think it was just warm enough. Okay, yeah, and you, oh, Derek, why are you using, uh, okay, I love, I like using old iced coffee cups when I make homemade iced coffee because it feels like it's not homemade and I get more satisfaction out of drinking, uh, okay? Does that make sense? There is a few pellets, but we're gonna add now. Now how I make my iced coffee is you add some cold water and then we're gonna stir that. And yes, you can see over there, I like doing this for hot coffee as well. If anybody wants to come and collect all my stickers, I never use them because you know, I'm rich. <laughs> It looks like the instant coffee was melted by the water that was heated up on the MacBook charger. Now we add our ice, and I, and I like a lot of ice in my iced coffee to make sure it stays cold. Let's mix that. We add our cream right there. Mix it, oh, look at that. Look at that color, ladies and gentlemen. Are you freaking me right now in my fricker? And if you think I didn't save the lid, I, oh, that's the, that's the McDonald's one? Let's get the lid onto that, and let's take a look from the, look, what is it? Okay, can you guys see? Any sort of unmelted inst- I don't see any- Oh, let's go! We just made a coffee from water that was heated up on a MacBook charger. Oh yeah, and it tastes like radiation. Uh, is this health- is what I'm doing healthy or safe at all? This little charger right here is gonna be working really, really hard. Um, and I took the- uh, I, I put it on top of this uh, little tin, tin thing here because the heat from this charger has damaged my tables- you don't believe me. The heat for- the, the reason this table has this mark was because that charger was on it. So I'm not taking any chances. Now we're gonna put this little pan right here and heat that up and we are gonna have a fried egg from a MacBook charger. Okay, the pan is hot. We- Okay, so here we are. The pan- the pan is warm, ladies and gentlemen. The pan 
is warm. As you can see, the lighting is not as good because it is later. I have been checking on this little pan for so long and it has not gotten that co not, not gotten that co to, I need food in my mouth because I am losing the ability to speak the language that I am English. The pan wasn't getting that hot with, oh yes, okay, yes, that's good, that's good. What I decided to do is to open a bunch of different Twitch streams. Oh no! Daddy did- Daddy's stream got down?! Okay, that's okay, we still have a bunch more streams up right now. I know, uh, Dante and Kevin, if you guys know who Brunnenzor is, or Sweet Anita, be sure to comment down below. Don't want to waste any time, so here I have everything that we need. We're gonna put that right there. First, we have our egg. I was gonna put butter on the pan, but I don't want the butter to absorb any of the heat, and then the egg not- I'm, I'm talking as if I know what I'm saying. I have no f***ing clue what's going on. We're gonna take the egg. Okay, here, we have our mini pan on our MacBook charger. This thing is really, really hot right now. The pan is warm. If I, if we hear a sizzle, that's a win. That's all we need is a sizzle, baby. Okay. Back the egg right here. Let's go. Come on, give us a sizzle. Give us a sizzle. Give us a sizzle. I think that is the quietest I have ever heard a sound in my entire life. Give us a sizzle. Come on, it's warm though! Oh my god, the egg is freezing. How is this thing giving me burns when it can't cook an egg? Come on, not even a little bit? This thing is so hot. How? Like, that hurt, That like hurts my hand! Maybe if we leave it there, it's gonna cook. No, it's not, Derek, it's not! If I didn't have a coffee in me right now, I would be very- I am so- Hungry, dude! What's even worse, I'll leave the camera here in case the egg just like starts cooking. As if that's gonna fing happen. That's not gonna happen. What's even worse is that the other day I made this. Oh, and that's all over the. All over the counter, and I can't even eat it. I wanted to suck it up. My ex girlfriend from high school is Persian, and her mom used to make me this rice that had berries in it. We broke up like maybe five, six years ago, but for some reason the other day I just randomly craved it. So I searched up the recipe, I got everything I needed, and I made it. And it is so delicious, guys. Comment down below the name. I know some of you out there know what it's called. I have, I have yogurt in the fridge too. You can't have that with the, 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 the probiotic yogurt. Oh, I just want you in my mouth. But it's still, I see it's an uncooked egg and my son being worried that I'm screaming really loudly. So the delicious rice with barberries in it has to go back into the fridge and now we gotta figure something out for dinner and I think the only thing that might work is a grilled cheese. And so grilled cheese is what we would make. In front of us, the bread, the cheese, the butter, and the heat source. You gotta take some butter and you gotta butter up those bread buns, ladies and babies. Equal amounts of butter on each piece of bread. And then we open up the delicious Kraft Singles Black Diamond. I can't remember which one I used. Slices of cheese. I know this is a controversial move by Derek, but he thinks that when the butter is on the inside, your head stay clean while you eat the sandwich. Put that sandwich together and then you are left with the heat source, but the secret weapon, the tin foil comes into play. We are going to be wrapping the entire thing in tin foil to conserve the heat, which brings us to the computer with the, okay, the camera. Ow, ow, oh, ow, oh, oh my nose, ow, okay, oh, 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 okay, oh. And that brings us here, ladies and gentlemen. I have about 40 li- ow. Ow! I have about 40 tabs worth of live streams open on my computer. You want to hear what it sounds like if I unmute it? <laughs> yeah, not very pleasant. And I am going to be sitting here and monitoring this sandwich because I don't know how safe wrapping a MacBook charger in a tin foil is. Um, but we're gonna find out. All we need is for that cheese to melt for it to be considered a success and for us to have one win in this video. The time has come, it is much, much later on in the day and I'm going to pull up my table and you guys will see our grilled cheese cooked by a MacBook. And I'm gonna tell you guys this right now, this feels extremely warm. I'm gonna keep my hopes high, I'm not gonna look. I'm going to unravel you, well you guys, who should look? Should I look? Should no one look? Should we all just close our eyes right now? Guys, close your eyes right now and be honest because there's something on the screen that I don't want you to see, so you better have your eyes closed. Okay, we're gonna open this like this. You guys will get to see first what, what we're working with here. Is there any melted? It is really warm. Oh my god! Look! Please tell me you guys. It's 
cheese is melted! We freaking cooked it on a MacBook charger! Yes! Oh my god! Mm. Mm. Let's go! I lied. Turk, you tell them. I can't tell them. Can you please just give them the news? Okay, fine, I'll do it! I checked on the grilled cheese after three hours, and not only did the cheese not melt, you could still see the butter. Zero of the butter was seeped into the bread, so we're gonna take this and this. We can't even eat this because of that, because we were not allowed to eat that, and this video is technically over. I went to KFC and got basically the entire, they have a plant-based burger, and I got some other things. So, um, yeah! I'm gonna eat that now. Oh, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for me for making it to the <laughs> This is my burger and I'm excited to eat it. If you live in Canada and you have not yet tried the KFC plant-based burger, it is so KFC, if you need someone to just talk about I should probably <laughs> KFC, if you need somebody to talk about your product, I'm probably not gonna do it for free right now, so uh Hit up my email. I'm gonna dip this fry inside my mashed potatoes and gravy and just suck it down Oh my gosh after a long day full of failure. There is nothing like some fried food to make you feel good That was supposed to rhyme. Oh and the size the size the sheer size of this macaroni salad I don't have a fork. Well, that's never stopped me before <laughs> or Also when in doubt just use the lid the lid's a fork Right guys? But until then, I will see you all in my next video. Always remember the motto of do good, die great. And thank you guys so much for watching this, making it to the end. And just, just for, thank you for being you. You are insanely beautiful. You are gorgeous. You smell nice. Your hair looks amazing. And if you don't have any hair, that scalp, oh, that scalp, it's just, I just want to dump gravy on it and lick it all off if you're above the age of 18. All right, see ya. Mm -hmm.